Aptera faces steep funding challenges on its journey to production, with a $60 million goal progressing slowly. Now the company considers a return to crowdfunding to bridge the gap. Aptera Motors is currently doing fine testing its first production intent solar electric vehicles, but has been very candid about its need for more funding to reach quantified production. Its most recent SEC filing details slower than expected investments from convertible notes, and the startup's co-CEO recently hinted that Aptera might revisit crowdfunding seeking help from the loyal following that has helped it this far. So far, Aptera's $60 million funding raise has not gone as quickly as planned. When the startup originally announced the partnership with U.S. Capital Global over the summer, executives from the financial group anticipated the raise would take 60 to 90 days. Aptera Motors is pressing forward with testing for its solar electric vehicles, but its journey to full-scale production remains uncertain. Despite partnering with U.S. Capital Global, its $60 million funding round is progressing slower than anticipated. The startup's co-CDO has even suggested turning back to its devoted community for crowdfunding support. Could this funding delay affect Aptera's ability to bring its innovative vehicles to market on time? Will the startup's reliance on loyal supporters be enough to bridge the financial gap and secure its future? For the amazing work that goes in here, kindly return the favor by giving this video a like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, sharing indicates you wish to see our content reach an even broader audience. Aptera Motors, a trailblazer in solar electric vehicle SEV, technology, has faced substantial challenges in securing the capital required to scale up production. As of late 2024, Aptera's financial efforts to secure $60 million in funding have moved more slowly than anticipated, with only $400,000 raised through convertible notes. This has sparked concerns over its production timeline and potentially the company's survival. Here's a closer look at Aptera's financial hurdles, the implications of these delays, and the potential for renewed crowdfunding. Aptera, known for its lightweight, energy-efficient solar EVs, embarked on a high-profile funding journey in the summer of 2024. Partnering with U.S. Capital Global, Aptera aimed to raise $60 million to cover crucial production costs, including tooling, equipment, and scaling to a production rate of 6,000 vehicles annually. Executives initially projected a 60- to 90-day timeline to complete this round, but as of November 2024, only $400,000 had been secured. Aptera's SEC filings reveal an uphill battle for investor interest. The slow progress raises questions about the level of confidence that institutional investors have in Aptera's production roadmap and its ability to fulfill reservations. For a startup heavily reliant on external funding to reach full-scale production, this delay represents a potential bottleneck in its progress. Given the slow pace of institutional investment, Aptera's co-CEOs have hinted at a possible return to crowdfunding. Aptera has a history of successful crowdfunding, having previously raised over $135 million from a base of 17,000 investors, making it one of the most successful crowdfunding efforts in the EV sector. This community support has been instrumental in sustaining Aptera through various development stages. However, the typical crowdfunding investment ranges from hundreds to a few thousand dollars, which is markedly different from the $50,000 minimum investment required for the current convertible notes. A new crowdfunding campaign could bridge this gap by inviting smaller investments and rekindling enthusiasm among Aptera's core supporters. However, it remains uncertain if this route alone could deliver the full $60 million required or if Aptera's follower base has the capacity for another significant financial push. The primary purpose of the $60 million raise is to finance the production equipment and tooling needed to manufacture Aptera's vehicles. As explained by Aptera's leadership, this funding would enable them to build customer-ready vehicles and reach a cash flow neutral production rate. Any delay in securing these funds could push back Aptera's production timeline with a direct impact on customer deliveries. To date, Aptera has made notable strides in the development of its SEV. The unveiling of its first production intent build was a major milestone, showcasing components that could soon be integrated into fully road-ready vehicles. However, as Sandy Munro, a well-regarded figure in the automotive space and a partner in Aptera's journey, has emphasized, the path from prototype to full production is laden with financial challenges. In 2020, Munro & Associates, headed by Sandy Munro, became a partner of Aptera Motors. The well-known auto enthusiast has visited the company's Carlsbad, California offices on a regular basis and has made multiple appearances with the co-founders. 
In a video that Monroe Live recorded at Aptera headquarters last month, co-founders Chris Anthony and Steve Fambro showed Sandy around the store and inside and out of the PI2 Solar EV. Monroe, who was in the driver's seat, kept asking Fambro and Anthony about the money they needed. In order to raise more money, Aptera is thinking about going back to crowdfunding but maybe later. The convertible note with US Capital Global is still the main emphasis right now. Anthony continued. The slow fundraising pace may reflect investor hesitation about the risks involved in Aptera's unique solar-powered model. Despite the promise of SEVs and Aptera's technological milestones, large-scale investors may still perceive Aptera as a high-risk venture. The automotive industry's well-documented capital intensity and the numerous hurdles to scaling up production could deter investors from committing substantial funds without visible traction in the market. Moreover, the automotive market has grown increasingly competitive. As major players like Tesla and Rivian establish themselves, newer entrants must work harder to convince investors of their long-term viability and market share potential. Although Aptera's SEV represents a niche within the EV market, it's unclear if this niche is currently perceived as lucrative or scalable enough to entice big capital. If Aptera reopens crowdfunding, it could tap into the enthusiasm of its supporters once more. A smaller scale crowdfunding push might allow the startup to maintain momentum, keeping production plans on track, while also attracting attention from institutional investors. However, any crowdfunding campaign would need to balance smaller contributions with the larger scale investments that Aptera ultimately requires. The delay also highlights the startup's limited control over its cash flow at this pre production stage. While progress is being made, this heavy reliance on fundraising puts Aptera in a delicate position especially as it competes with larger companies in a quickly evolving market. Without consistent financial support, Aptera risks either pushing back its production timeline or scaling down its initial output, both of which could affect customer confidence. Aptera stands at a critical crossroads, facing both financial and operational challenges. With its production goals contingent on securing the remaining funds, the company's future hinges on its ability to attract investors, whether through institutional channels or return to crowdfunding. Aptera's community of supporters has been a cornerstone of its journey thus far, and another crowdfunding effort could reignite the public enthusiasm that helped it reach this point. If Aptera's financial needs aren't met soon, the delay could imperil its production schedule, ultimately affecting its ability to deliver on the promise of a sustainable SEV. As it seeks new ways to bridge this funding gap, the outcome will have implications not only for Aptera's future, but also for the solar-powered EV market as a whole, which Aptera has pioneered. The stakes are high for Aptera and the company's ability to navigate these financial challenges will be a test of its resilience and the strength of its supporters. In the meantime, Aptera's leadership remains optimistic. Despite the hurdles, they continue to push forward, confident that their commitment to innovation and sustainability will attract the funding they need. But for now, Aptera's journey toward full-scale production remains in limbo. A testament to the unpredictable nature of launching groundbreaking technology and a competitive market. And there you have it for now. It's been fantastic having you with us this far. If you enjoy the incredible work that goes into these videos, please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification icon to stay up to speed with new video publications. Your engagement means a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.